Hello, my dear friends of electronics. I will show you today how easy it is to filter a DC-DC converter, which I prepare here. I have some input filters and I have also a one amp electronic load on it. The DC-DC switching frequency will be one megahertz. But before we will uh, start to measure this DC-DC this, this converter design, I will simulate that in LT Spice. So we will simulate with LT Spice. Uh, I like LT Spice because it's free of charge software. You just can download for free and just use it. First of all, I will simulate these three different input capacitors: 100 nanofarad, 10 nanofarad, and 1 nanofarad, because every design engineer uses these different capacitors on input filtering. So first of all, after you press Running Man, you will open a new window, and we will add trace, C filter capacitors, and now you can see these three different capacitors how they react. First of all, you realize that the uh, 100 nanofarad capacity after reaching his resonant point, somewhere by 12 megahertz, get to be inductance and react to the following 10 nanofarad and build a parallel resonancy. The same happened to the 10 nanofarad capacity after reaching his resonant point, get to be inductance as well, and react to the 1 nanofarad. So you can see in a certain frequency you will have a gap of filtering which is not so useful for a DC-DC converter. This is simulation. Now we go from simulation into the measurement. So now we'll measure with uh, picoscope. This is a uh, 250 megahertz oscilloscope because I will use that. Not everybody has in his own laboratory uh, spectrum analyzer or EMI receiver. Then I have a own build listen line impedance stabilization network, and we'll measure on the input uh, of this DC DC converter. First of all, without filtering, you can see on the picture this is a very high noise on input. So let me try to filter that with the three capacitors. Now I will connect the three capacitors. The three capacitors are doing a good job, of course. Uh, they will filter something, but like you can see, this is not enough powerful because the noise is still above the 40 dB line. And this is a minimum request of uh, EMC measurement. So I will suggest please watch my next videos about the different filter. So see you soon. Bye.